Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey. I live and travel in a minivan with my dog, Joey, and we're currently in the Monterey Bay area of California. I am leaving Monterey. I was actually more in Pacific Grove the entire time that I was there, which is the town right next to Monterey. Uh, and we just stopped at Planet Fitness and Selena's and took a shower, got ready, and now we're gonna be heading to Santa Cruz. Uh, I went through there the last time I went up the coast uh, and I did not get to spend a lot of time there but I loved it and so I am excited to just go and spend a week maybe two hanging out in Santa Cruz and I hear that they're very van life friendly there and so I don't think we'll have any issues finding places to sleep in town. We have about 35 minutes to go so let's go to Santa Cruz. Well, we're driving through Santa Cruz now. So after noticing that most of the parking in downtown Santa Cruz was all paid parking, I looked for the closest place to park for free and found one at the Seabright Beach. There's a little parking area right up on the cliff there. It does have very good views of the Santa Cruz boardwalk area that has the amusement park with the roller coasters. And then there's also like the view of the beach area. And we just hung out here. We just wanted somewhere to hang out so I could work, get some things done before we tried to find a place to sleep and you guys you will not believe it but on my first night here in Santa Cruz I did get the knock the spot that I found was relatively close to the Seabright Beach that I found on iOverlander and there's two other RVs that were already there when I got there around 9 p.m. and around 11 I did get a knock and everybody that was parked in that area was getting booted um, so I headed to another spot which was actually a lot nicer it felt a lot safer in a much fancier neighborhood next to some apartment complexes as you guys can see from this little clip here and we had a very nice safe sleep and I swear that everything happens for a reason even if the reason is just so that I could be closer to this coffee shop instead of the other one I was going to be parked by because this was the cutest coffee shop that I've ever been to just the vibe of it is very me in my opinion so I think I really looked out on being really close to this coffee shop because it was so freaking cute and they had a vegan burrito so I was very appreciative of that as well. So we picked up a burrito and an oat milk latte, and then we headed out so we could go find another free spot to park during the day. Oh my gosh, the pink and blue vibe inside. The coffee's really good. Oof, they have merch and you know me they also had a vegan burrito so I automatically gave them like 10 stars like you guys have a vegan option for me and it's not just like fruit or avocado toast which they did have avocado toast but a whole burrito I got a whole burrito also the lady at the counter gave me a recommendation to just keep taking this road all the way down straight and I'll hit the ocean and that there is parking along there that is free all day and that you can go and see tide pools and just watch the ocean and you guys know that is now my new favorite thing to do so we're just gonna keep going straight until we hit the ocean I mean we can see the ocean from here this is so exciting Santa Cruz is so cute oh my gosh we hit the ocean So now we just have to find some parking. There's parking right over there. Oh, there's parking right here. And I like that this is so cute. Okay, and the only restriction. Oh, yes. And I want this one that's like all the way on the side here. Ooh. <laughs> we made it Joe so I was talking about this over at my patreon but living on the coast or living in towns is so different than how I've been living my van life for the last three years because I had this pretty typical routine of choosing a spot on iOverlander 
driving there, doing my errands on the way, so getting groceries, dropping off trash, getting water, whatever, and then making it to my spot, staying in that same spot for a week or whatever, and then choosing another spot and repeating the cycle over and over again. That is how my van life has been lived for the last almost three years. And so coming to the coast where I have to move to a new spot every single day and find a new spot to sleep every single day, um, you know, it's a lot different. And I thought I was going to hate it. I thought I was going to be kind of annoyed of constantly having to move, but I'm really enjoying to like love it because I get to see more and do more things. And yeah, it is costing me a bit more money. I was very frugal before, you know, I would only choose a spot within a couple of hours and I would not drive more than like two to three hours in between my two spots. So I was like never like really driving around. And now I am driving around. I get to see more of these cute little coastal towns and just do more things during the day because before like yeah maybe I might hike around my camping area or like do a tour of like where I'm at but it was never really like going and doing things and seeing things on a regular basis and so now I have to find a new place to go every single day which is very exciting and it's very new it feels very good. I don't know why, but I was really worried about finding places to park during the day to just hang out all day and not have to like be constantly moving throughout the day. And so I'm just loving Santa Cruz already, but this little like section of the coast is beautiful. Tons of dogs walking by too, so that's really nice because Joey is loving it, being able to say hi to all the other doggos. Yay, Santa Cruz, I'm excited. <laughs> Say hi, Joey. Is that Zoe you said? Yeah. Zoe and Joey. That's so cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> the tails, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we are on our way to go to Whole Foods. And sorry about all the lines that you guys might be seeing. I have my solar panel on my dash right now because I'm having a hard time keeping in charge of my Jackery because one of my solar panels died. Ugh, so I'm only working with one. They are replacing it though. Um, they're sending me a new one, but it'll probably be a couple weeks before I can get it. And so I'm kind of struggling right now trying to keep my Jackery with any charge at all so I can keep my fridge on. It's been rough. <laughs> um, I am currently at 8% on my Jackery. So, and it died last night overnight. And so I've just been slowly trying to charge it. And there's like no sun um, because we're on the central coast of California, which is pretty typical. But still, like I'm having a really hard time keeping charge. And for some reason, um, it keeps blowing the fuse on my 12 volt up here to charge it. So I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit. I'm going to go to Whole Foods. After we went to Whole Foods and picked up groceries and got something to eat for lunch, I drove back over to Westcliff, which is the neighborhood that I found the good sleeping in and the free parking that is along the ocean. It's a very beautiful, very ritzy neighborhood, but I wanted to go back there just to eat lunch and hang out for the rest of the day. When you guys will not believe that tragedy struck again. So a little update for you guys. This Jackery solar panel broke a few weeks ago and I had to go through a bunch of hoops of sending them pictures and all of this stuff to get them to send me a replacement for that through the warranty. And so I've been working with this one solar panel 
and I can barely get my freaking Jackery to charge above like 30%. I'm at 36 right now. And that solar panel just broke. And so now I don't have any solar panels. I am trying to charge my laptop up so I can get a video out tomorrow. Um, my fridge is most definitely going to die <laughs> before I can get my one solar panel replaced and then I'm only going to have one until I can get a second one, which they won't replace this one because it fell off of my roof and so it's my fault. So. Uh, awesome. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun coming along with me on my first few days here in Santa Cruz. And even though I got the knock on my first night here and both of my solar panels ended up dying, that is not going to stop me from enjoying this beautiful area and especially this Westcliff neighborhood area of Santa Cruz where there is easy parking and safe place to sleep at night. I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and hanging out with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe below. I also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!